Hey, good Fox here. Today I got a big Willie Brown review. 95 overall cornerback. Part of the Super Bowl promo. Six foot one on him with 93 speed, 95 acceleration, 91 agility, 92 jump, 94 play rec, 93 man, 92 zone, 91 press. So he hits those thresholds for zone, at least the only one we know of that matters. So the biggest downside to this card, 77 catching is, is okay. He'll catch the ball. Um, 68 block shed, I think, is the biggest issue with this card because the, the run game is so um, frequently leaned on by a lot of online opponents that having kind of a lower block shed hurts the card. But 68, I mean, it could be worse. It could be in the 50s. 68, I'd say, is pretty average right now. Um, so, But Willie, talking about average, his price to go along with that average uh, block shed isn't too terrible at 266 at the moment. Um, the thing is, like, back in coverage, He'll play for you phenomenally. He's also got 82 hit power, 84 tackling. He's got pr a pretty uh, dumb chem. He's over there on the right side of the field, I should say, um, coming off the edge, number 24, um, on, the, on the right cornerback. So you'll see him there. There he is, on that side of the field. So 93 speed, I think, is fine enough. You know, he will get beat if you press guys um, by, by the faster 96 speed hills of the world at the moment. Is, is he 96 or 97 hill? I, I can't recall. Um, but you're like, oh, Sean Taylor picked that. What's the deal? Where's Willie Brown? Well, Willie Brown's got a nose for the football. He never gives up on a play. There he is recovering it for our team. I should have been able to take that. I wasn't able to, to position my feet quick enough in the middle there. Anyways, there's getting spec caught over. But 92 zone coverage is perfect enough. Um, it beats that threshold, so he will react quickly. Maybe he doesn't knock down the ball as well as maybe other guys with higher zone coverage does. But it hits exactly what we need. Um, for the price, I actually really did think Willie Brown is a card that you should have on your lineup. Probably like one of the better, more affordable, high-end corners of, of the uh, the game. I, I would put him on the late field for it. Look at it. More passion for the ball. It even causes a fumble. Ugh. All the way across the field making plays for you. So he's got that good catch-up. Uh, probably the pursuit rating on the card, which is 91. Um, pretty solid. So we'll across the field to make a tackle for you. The the chems on this bad boy. Clutch, yes. High motor, yes. Uh, no spin move, no no swim moves, no big, no on the big hitter, which is too bad. But yes, on the strip ball, play ball, air aggressive. Um, so he will be looking for the strip ball, but won't be looking for the big hit. So don't expect him like on that that hit right there on the quarterback, like a free free shot at a quarterback. I think that's basically every defensive player's wet dream. Uh, and he didn't really like smack him, but he made him a decent amount. The low 80s hit power will be causing fumbles, but it will be knocking the ball out of guys' hands um, as at the cornerback. You know, I I didn't. In my personal experience using Willie Brown, um, I, I didn't hate him. I mean, there is getting destroyed on man coverage. And, and like I've said before, man coverage is almost unusable in Mutt. Maybe you can get away from man, get away with man coverage and say like Mutt draft or salary cap. But in Mutt, where you have 91 route runners all over the field, if they run a Chris, they'll run a Chris route and absolutely torch you. And then you'll be like, oh, I'm sad. Like that one, that one against uh, Mr. Brown there. But otherwise, if they don't run man beating routes, yeah, man coverage, go ahead and give it a shot. Willie Brown's going to play about as well as everybody else. 93 speed, hit him. Oh, no, we still get faked out. So the tip drill chem, terrible. Um, better if he had, like, unfakeable. Secure tackler would be the dream because unfakeable is kind of a little bit useless, more useless now. Um, there's there's a, a, a hit stick, but nothing came out. Um, there is an absolutely gorgeous pick. An out route, like, spec catch, right home to your mama type of pick. That's the type of stuff... That we drool about. Feel good. Feels good, man. Anyways, uh, Willie Brown, go ahead and grab him, put him in your secondary, lock him to the side of the field, and, and just enjoy. He, he's he's obviously not night train for the uh, run stuffing, but I think you're gonna be fine with him. I think you'll be per perfectly fine. You'll get some sheds on some receivers. You know the receivers aren't in the mid to high 80s unless they put out like tight ends on the outside. I don't think you'll have trouble with your. Uh, block shedding issues. Um, you, you obviously won't shed it as quick and you'll make it locked up a few times. Ooh, tip drill. Didn't work. What the hell, tip drill? I mean, that's literally the only reason you're on the field. But I think, yeah, like I said, worthless cam, man coverage cam. I think it's worthless unless you get some finesse move players. But out of 10, I really did like this card for the price, especially. Um, a top end corner for not a terrible price. Out of 10, let's give him a 9.4. Thanks for watching Call to Action. I'll see you tomorrow.